sailing robot. So the sailboat uh, uh, Vemos, which is a robot, has been built by uh, Ifremer and Insta Bretagne, is represented on the picture. It is a control system and it is able to follow path as illustrated by uh, this, uh, this picture, which corresponds to a path that has been followed by Vemos. So it has anemometers and a compass and GPS and we have to describe in this context what could be the input vector u and the output vector and also the state vector. Here it is a picture of uh, Vemos and uh, we'll see the different kind of, of uh, actuators. So considering the actuators will have the length of the main sheet. So here we can see a part of the main sheet here. And we can uh, we can tune the length of the main sheet with a servo motor that is inside the, the hull. And there is also another actuator. It corresponds to the rudder. So the rudder, it's difficult to see it, but we can imagine that it is here. Now, considering uh, the, the sensors, we have, uh, uh, we have the GPS, which give us the position of, uh, the, position, uh, of the sailboat. So the GPS is here, at the top of the mast. Uh, we have also an ultrasound anemometer, which is a uh, weather va vane, uh, also at the top of the mast, which allows us to measure a psi, which corresponds to the direction of the wind, but also which allows us to measure the, there is a compass inside, which gives up theta, which is um, the heading of the boat. Vemos can be seen as a system where I have two inputs, delta uh, rudder, so the angle of the rudder and the length of the main sheet which also correspond to the maximum angle that can have the sail with respect to the hull. So delta sail maximum. You can only tune indeed the maximum of this um, angle. And the regulator will be here. So this corresponds to the controller. controller. So we have as an output the heading, the angle measured by the wind, uh, the wind vane, and the position uh, M of given by the GPS. Okay, so all this goes in a single vector which is called Y which goes to the controller. And for this controller, what is important in practice is to give uh, a set point which corresponds W to the heading that we want for the, um, uh, for the boat. Now, all headings are not uh, possible for a sailboat. So I will try to explain this. Imagine that the wind comes from this direction. Then the boat can go to this heading, this heading, and so on. So the set of all heading possible that are possible is at this shape. And you have some heading that are not possible. So I'm not allowed to go directly against the wind. So this set of headings called the no go zone. So if I want to go upwind, so if I want to go this direction which is not possible, I have to switch between this direction and this heading. So in this case I will do some kind of zigzags like this, which allows me to go in this direction.
So in the exercise, we can see these pictures. Where I can see that the wind come from as uh, uh, goes to is pr probably like this. This is why the boat which starts here is able to go upwind like this, doing some zigzags. Here also it is in the no-go zone direction so I have to do some zigzag again. And here it is more comfortable since the wind comes from the back of the boat, so it is able to go to some direct path. So that's what want to do this uh, uh, the sailboat, and in green it is what he has exactly done in this experiment of the what we call the square spiral. So if I come back to my system, W is a desired heading, so we can call it theta bar and here I have a planner so this planner takes also the uh, the position of the GPSM for instance and knows also the head the direction of the wind and it is some kind of automata that will design a sequence of desired and possible heading so that the controller will accomplish a mission. So the mission is given to the planner and in this MOOC we'll more focus on how to build controller and not how to build planners. The resulting algorithm, so controller plus planner, are, uh, are put inside the boat all this are programmed inside the computer and it has to be in, so the computer is inside the boat and the say boat plus the program in the computer so it corresponds to the closed loop system is what we call a robot so a robot is the boat plus the computer with the program inside to design the controller and the planner we need to perform some simulation and also to to deal with equation, some linearization that will make us possible to apply control theory to build all the algorithm. So for this, we need a model for this boat. The model will have the form x dot equal f of x u, y equal j of x and u. So of course, uh, y corresponds to theta psi and m. U corresponds to the angle of the rudder and the angle maximum for the sailors, the length of the main sheet. But x will correspond to the position of the boat, m, so mx, my, given by the GPS, could correspond also to uh, the heading and the speed and so on. So for mechanical systems such as a sailboat, uh, in general, the state contains the uh, degrees of freedom of the system plus the corresponding speeds.